Hello friends, in this video we will see the help tools available in Linux. So I will open a terminal, I will do right click and click on console. Uh, this is in Fedora. So you can use the same commands even in Ubuntu or the, any other Debian version of Linux or any RPM version of Linux. So first, if you want to know something about a command, so how does the command work, what are the options available, all you have to do is type the command. For example, if we type a command called ls, we need anything help on this command, we can say double hyphen help. And press enter. So it will give you a lot of options. What are the options available? What are the parameter uh, arguments we can send? And we will give you complete information. You can see here, uh, most of the times we will be using L and A. So L would be the long listing format. And A would be for uh, all files. You can see minus A. Uh, do, uh, do not ignore entry starting with dot. I will just do a clear command to get the screen. So if I do ls uh, minus a, so it uh, lists all the files uh, which has a dot in front of it, all the folders and files, because dot files are considered as uh, hidden files, or dot, or dot folders are considered as hidden folders. If you just do ls, you cannot see all the hidden folders and files. And one more uh, option, see how you can get help on ls is, uh, you can use a man page, there is a manual page for ls, all the command has man pages you can say man ls so you get a page a nice page which gives you information about the command user commands so you can go through you can use the down arrow key to go through the options everything it, it explains you completely what are the options uh, how it can be used everything so who is the author of this uh, manual page you can see so you can also report bugs you can see the copyright information uh, there's also other pages are there uh, to uh, quit out of this uh, manual page or man page, you can s uh, click on Q to quit out. You can also say info ls, so it will give you info page. So you can see this is a more uh, English type of uh, document available for ls command, which will explain you what the ls program is. List directory contents, so it will give you many options here. So it's also like an editor, if you uh, use this, uh, you can you uh, search any expression here. You can see it, it will fi uh, find the expression for you. You can press N to go to the next word. Okay, you can use space to scroll through the info page and Q for quitting out of the info page. So these are the three tools available for you to know about the command. One is double hyphen L. For example, if you want to know something about the ping command, you can say ping space double hyphen help. So it will give you what are the options that can be used uh, with the ping command. And if you use a man page with the ping command, you can say man space ping, press enter, you get the information about the ping command. And Q to quit out of this manual page. And you can also use info page to get the information about the ping command. And press enter, you can see it gives you similarly a manual page. So sometimes, uh, for a command, there might be info page or not, there might be a manual page. So at least one tool will be available, either you will get man page or info page. You can also go through the internet uh, to search for all this, so you can go for Wikipedia, you can go on a, if you are using a Ubuntu, you can go for help.ubuntu.com. So the best would be the man page, uh, first to go through the man page and understand what exactly the command is for everything and then if you don't get uh, proper information go for go for internet and search for options uh, we'll, we'll see something else in this pro, uh, video I'll do a clear command so in the clear command for example if I want to read through a document I want to read through a big document which is more than the screen size for example cat uh, we'll see any we'll uh, look for any scripts here okay, no. So we have a user local share. We have a lot of info pages here. Yeah, you can see info, or maybe even the man pages information. Man one.
Okay, it's a directory. We'll first do a list command. We'll see whether do we have any files in there. So there are no files. Okay, we'll do something else. C E E R. Okay. So we'll log in as a super user. Okay, now I'll do cat slash etc. We'll have some init scripts here. So we have a network script. I want to see the contents of the network script. You can see everything scrolls over the screen. You could not see the first. You have to scroll the screen again like this. So instead what you can do is you can make uh, the page appears uh, step by step. I'll do a clear first. So when I do a cat command on this file, it is crawl entirely uh, up and you will be seeing only the last part of the uh, network script. What I can do is I can use a more command to make this uh, file come step by step like one page appear first and next uh, page appear on the next uh, uh, hit of the enter button or the space button. You will say, we'll say more and press enter. So we are typing this command, we are typing the output of the, this cat command of this network file to the more command. So this is a piping operation. So you can use a pipe operation to send the output of one command to other command. You press enter more. So you can see it's doing you from the first line. You can see from first line to show you, it will show you the first page and then uh, which covers the first page and then if you press space, it will show you the next part of the uh, script. You keep on pressing the space. So when you use a more command, you can read page by page. So you can see it will not scroll on the one shot. You can scroll it step by step. You can also use a, L a less command instead of more command. You can use. You can use less and press enter. So you can see it also scrolls the page step by step. Uh, but the main op uh, one opportunity here you can find for text like this. You can put a slash and you can see etc and press enter. So it will find all the text for you. It's like a similar to a VI editor. So you, whenever you want to find some text, you can use the less command. It's more of like a VI editor. If you press Q, it will quit out of the uh, cat command. So this way we can use uh, more or the less command to scroll the page step by step. I do a clear command. Friends, in this video we saw a few commands which would be helpful for uh, probably troubleshooting or knowing about a command or checking the file. Uh, we'll see more in the upcoming video. Thank you for watching this video.